All right, fam. So, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I've been very inconsistent on this channel. But look, 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 look. A lot of y'all aren't real supporters. Because if y'all was real supporters, then y'all would know I've been on my second channel, which is the podcast channel with my lovely wife. So what I need y'all boys to do, and girls, I need y'all go subscribe to that channel because I promise you we get lit over there, okay? And I, I'm not taking no breaks from this channel or nothing like that. It's just been a lot going on this week. But that channel is where I've been at for the last, what, three, three four weeks? So yeah, definitely go over that channel, man. And I promise y'all it's, it's a blast over there. So I need y'all boys to go subscribe. But without further ado, I'm, I'm coming to y'all today with a crazy video because I got a lot to talk about in this video. And it's about our lovely President Biden. Man, don't y'all love Biden? Give a round of applause if you love Biden, okay? Because honestly, what he has done in the last, what, couple, I don't know. I don't know how long this was ago. I think it was eight days ago. Maybe, I'm just going to say a week, two weeks ago, whatever. In the last couple weeks, this man Biden has been tripping. Okay, seriously, he has been tripping. Now, as y'all know, it is Pride Month, okay? It's Pride Month. I didn't say too much about Pride Month this month. I didn't say too much about it any month. You know, I could care less for what for what uh, you people want to push out on our kids, what you people want to push out. Yeah, we got a problem, but we sure don't got a veterans month. But I ain't going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go too much in detail. But without further ado, man, we're going to hang into this little video. This is Biden honoring the LGBTQ Pride Month at the White House. I'm showing y'all this clip because it has to do with a lot of what I'm going to be talking about today. So without further ado, man, enough talking. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> We know that this year's pride is caught. By the way, that is not my buzzing. That that is their buzzing. Okay, I, look, <laughs> terrible mice for a terrible president. Am I right, crowd? Am I right? And then of course y'all got y'all kids here. This is crazy. Oh man, what a beautiful way to start the video. Welcome to the White House. We know that this year's pride is caught between the push and pull of progress. Outside the gates of this house are those who want to drag our country backwards and so many battles yet to be brave. But today, we're not here to be strong. We're not here to be courageous, even though for so many of you, just coming to this event is an act of bravery. Today, we are here to find joy. And last December, we felt such pride here in the South Lawn when I signed the historic Respect for Marriage Act. It protects the marriage of same-sex and interracial couples. But for all the progress we made, we know, we know real, change, real challenges still remain. When a person can be married in the morning and thrown out of a restaurant for being gay in the afternoon, something is still very wrong in America. You know what's wrong with America? I, I will tell you what's wrong with America, Mr. President. It's you. Okay, it's you. It's the people that is in leadership. That is what's wrong with America. The government. Okay? The, the people that's literally higher than a regular a citizen. That, that is what's wrong with America. Because you got some citizens that actually have common sense that want America to be back great again. Okay? Uh, even though I don't think America will ever get back to being great again. But however, you got a lot of citizens that want America to, uh, that want America to get back great again or whatever. But however, it's the majority of the people that votes for people like you, and this is why America is the way it is. I'm gonna get more into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the finish fit it and finish, and I'm gonna get. Oh man, I got so much stuff to say. <laughs> That's why the Congress must pass and send me the Equality Act to qualify protections for the LGBT community. I recognize for a lot of folks across this country, maybe it's not you, your kid, your family member, going through whatever a transgender child and family is going through. But I think we all agree, if it were you, you'd want the space to figure it out with your family and your doctor not being told by anybody. I want to send a message to the entire community, especially to transgender children. You are loved. You are heard. You are understood. 
And you belong. Oh, oh my God, it's my turn, y'all. Oh man, yes, it's my turn because I'm about to spaz, boy. I am about to spaz out. Number one, it, look, this ain't even about the pride, everything, bro. Y'all know how I feel about that, okay? Y'all know that I am a God fearing man. Y'all know how I feel about pride and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't even strictly about that. It's about what this president is doing to our country. We have became one nation under God. That was in, that's in a national anthem. We are we have became one nation under God to becoming a divided nation under one president. And I'm sick of it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all sick of it. This has been going on for as long as I could think of since I've been born. I'm pretty sure it's been going on longer than that. But this is the problem I have. Now I'm gonna post up, I'm gonna put up a picture. I don't know. I'm gonna put it right here or right here. This is what Biden did to the White House, okay? And you might, oh, some of you guys or some people may think, obviously y'all see what's wrong with the picture. It's an LGBTQ5 in the middle. The reason why I feel something wrong with this is because why did you put an LGBTQ5 in the middle of two American flags as if the LGBTQ5 has more superior or, yeah, is it as if the LGBTQ5 is more superior than the two American flags? I, I find something wrong with that. Because the American flag is just not an American flag. It represents the people that fought for this country, that died for this country. You show more respect for the LGBTQ than the veterans that serve this country, than the people that will put their life on the line to protect you. You serve, you literally serve Pride Month more than you serve the veterans. Your, 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 uh, your secret service. You don't even probably serve them as well as you serve the Pride people. That's a problem to me. It's also a problem to me how so many people go with the woke agenda and they don't even know what's really going on. Let's let's pull out the Bible because I don't care if you believe. I don't care if you don't believe. I care. Now, actually, no, I take that back. I care if you do believe. If you don't believe, look, I'm going to keep spreading the word. And if you don't accept the word that is, that is coming out of my mouth, because look, when I do my videos and here on out everything that i do will be for the glory of god when i do my videos it is not me speaking but it will be god speaking through me it will be the holy spirit that is in me speaking through me whether you believe that or not that's your problem now it's called faith it's called believing in the unseen but however i want to open up this word because this this bible has something to do with this whole entire thing hear me out this is chapter, this is Jude, okay? It's only one, it's only one, it's, it's only a little one, it's like what? One sentence, so calm down. It's Jude chapter one, verse seven. And don't forget Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring towns, which were filled with immortality in every kind of sexual perversion. Those cities were destroyed by fire and served as a warning of, of the internal fire of God's judgment. Come on now, talk to me, talk to me now. America is like Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and, and our president, he is going with the agenda that society is pushing out. He is going with this agenda. Talking about the transgender children, are you serious? Are you saying that they're accepted? Bro, they was accepted when they came out the womb. They was accepted when they came out the womb. Is that not enough? Because one thing I'm not going to do is I, I cannot support anyone who feel as if God is a liar and they change their they say they change their entire sexuality based off their feelings at that given moment. You know how many people don't change their entire phys physical body and they realize that they don't want to be that no more? How many boys changed it to a girl and realize that oh I don't want to be a girl no more? How many girls don't change to a guy and realize oh I don't want to be a guy no more? You know how many people have done that? And you think I gotta sit here? And support my child because they feel as if they was born to be a girl. How do you know what you would? But that's nothing but the lie from the pit of hell. You can't, bro. You can't sit here and tell me that. Oh God, he he made a mistake and made me a uh and made me a boy and I'm supposed to be a a, a girl. No, you're supposed to be exactly what God called you to be. You're supposed to be exactly what God created you to be. And our president is going with this entire agenda, bro. This entire agenda. You want to talk about bravery? Are you serious? Pride people have, they're brave? They're, they're brave. What about the people that fought for this country? Is they not brave? Because last time I checked, we have a whole pride month, but we don't have a veterans month. 
We serve one day to give thanks and honor to the veterans, but we serve a whole month to give thanks and honor to pride. Tell them that they can be who they are, who they want to be. They can love themselves. Are you serious? Are you serious? I, 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 I can't serve. I can't think a group of people that didn't do nothing for me and for my freedom. But I could definitely give thanks to the people that serve, that got on that battlefield and fought for America and where America is today. But we don't serve them. We don't serve them. This is, this is a problem that's consistently going on. Whether you believe in God or not, bro, if you pick up that Bible, everything that is written in the Bible over 2,000 years ago is being prophesied today. It is being fulfilled today. Look at the Bible. You can say how man-made it is. It doesn't make sense if it was man-made and it was written over 2,000 years ago how everything that's happening back then is happening now. History is literally repeating itself. I, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I truly don't know what else to say. America, please get your acts together. Jesus is coming back and y'all have to... Look, whether you believe, whether you don't believe... As a nation, we have to stand together. I'm not here to, to, to push my, my faith on you. I'm here to give you the truth. You can take it or you can leave it. One thing I will do is serve my Lord Jesus Christ, and I will spread the faith and the truth of the Bible because I know what the truth is. There's only one truth. But if you believe in your truth, you believe in your truth. I believe in my truth. I say just respect my opinion like I respect your opinion. Because at the end of the day, what's going on in America, I promise y'all. Y'all, man, y'all going to be like, bro, he was right. He was seriously right. Look at what's going on. Look at the president y'all voted for. Look at what y'all, look at what's happening in, the, in America today. This is the president y'all voted for. This man, because y'all wanted Trump out of office so bad. Y'all wanted another man out of office so bad, so you vote in a man that really don't care for America because look at how he even did the freaking LGBT flag. Put it right there in the center. LGBT is superior over the American flag. You guys are brave. What? And if I'm not mistaken, didn't Biden say something like LGBT is the most bravest people he ever met? I, somebody said. Somebody told me that. My, I believe my, yeah, my pastor was the one who said that. Now, I have not seen a clip like that yet. I tried to find it. I couldn't find it because I, I don't know where it's at. And, and if it's in one of these long little speeches he be giving, I will be I will not be watching it. I can't watch a long speech with Biden. If it ain't a clip of it, I'm not going to react to it. Because the way he talk, will be all day. will be all day. I probably done made me a burger and everything. Ran to McDonald's. Ran to go to a Walmart. Ran to Target. I would have ran everywhere. He would have still been talking. He would have been on the same sentence. That's how slow the man is. I'm just being real. But if, if it's true that he said that LGBT or, yeah, that these people are the bravest people he ever met, we got to get him out of office. They, they are not the bravest people we ever met. The bravest people I ever met is the people who got on that field and fought for this country that doesn't do anything for them. The president that doesn't do anything for them. Those are the bravest people I ever met. I was finna be the one to be on the battlefield. I was finna join the Marines. I was gonna join the Marines to serve a president like Biden? I wish I would. I wish I would. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. I know that this clip was very small. It was a two-minute clip, but I had so much stuff to say. And what they said in this video, bringing kids to this and pushing this stuff on kids, oh, man, it gives me a headache. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all. Man, we back in business, baby. Hit that subscribe button. Also, go to the other channel because the other channel is bussin' bussin'. Okay, it's busting, busting. Can I get a busting, busting? You know what I'm saying? It's busting over there. So the podcast channel is definitely busting over there. I definitely recommend y'all go subscribe. All links in the description box below. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.